Hi everyone, this is The Focus Fender and today I'm going to be giving you a tutorial on how to open, fund, and pick funds for your Vanguard IRA account. But first, if you're new to this channel, I would love for you to subscribe. My channel is all about getting out of debt, staying out of debt, organizing your finances, and increasing your net worth. And if you'd like to find me on social media, you can find me at Focus Fender on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Now let's get started. So a few weeks ago, I did a video on how to open an IRA account and why you need to have one. And I'll be sure to link it above and below. But this video, I want to give you an actual how-to on how to open a real account using Vanguard, how to fund that account, and how to pick funds for that account. So like a mutual fund, an ETF, or if you want to buy stocks and fund it using stocks. So let's go ahead and jump into the computer tutorial. The first thing you're going to do is go to investor.vanguard.com. And when you are on this page, you are going to click on open an account online. So once you're here, in this scenario, you're going to click on open a new account. And that allows you to open an IRA, um, do general investing, or open a 529 account. So click on let's open my account. And this is how um, it asks you how you're going to fund your account, whether you're going to link it to your bank or maybe you have another Vanguard account or you're going to roll over money from an employer plan or you're going to transfer from another financial firm like, let's say, Fidelity. So here we're going to say electronic bank transfer. And then we're going to click continue. And then you're going to click continue on no, I'm new here. So here you're going to say, we're going to say no, we're going to sign up for online access afterwards. So click on continue. And here it tells you exactly what you need to open an account. You need your bank banking information in this scenario. So your routing number and your account number um, and your employee information. I checked, you do not need to have an actual job to open this account. Um, however, if you are working, then you will need to enter that information. So then you're going to click on continue. And here you're going to say why you're investing. So you're going to click on retirement. Here you do have to make a decision at the very beginning whether you're opening a Roth IRA or a traditional IRA. A Roth means you're funding it post-tax and traditional means you're funding it pre-tax. So I'm going to select Roth IRA and then click on continue. And so they're going to ask you even more questions about yourself, more like a little survey. What's the primary goal for this money? If you are young, you might say growth. And then the secondary is maybe, in well, maybe not income because it is your retirement account, but maybe capital preservation. So you want your money to grow, but you don't want it to, you don't want to lose a lot of money. And then here they're asking you where you're getting your money from. So if you're working, you're going to click on salary. Um, slash social security benefits. Click on continue. They're going to ask you more information about yourself, your name, your gender, your social, birthday, etc. Um, since I'm, I already have an account, I won't be filling out this section, but in section two, it allows you to put in your banking information to establish funding. It allows you to review what you filled out, sign it, and here it lets you set up your web access. And step five is are your next steps, which is really just um, picking the funds that you want. I'm going to cancel out of this because we are done with this portion of the tutorial. So it's going to take about 24 to 48 hours, depending on when you started to complete your process to have your account verified and funded. So in the meantime, you can start to determine what you want to invest in. So here you can click on investing and we want to look for items to purchase for your account. So you can click on Vanguard Mutual Funds um, and it gives you more information about learning about mutual funds um, and you can click on choose your mutual fund. It'll help you build a customized portfolio. You can click on a short list of Vanguard select funds. So things that they recommend. And once you're here, you can use the filters to do more searching, or you can just look at them by groups, total market index funds, money market funds, U.S. bond funds, balance funds, U.S. stock funds, international stock funds. 
you can sort it by five year performance or 10 year performance as well. It gives you more information there. It shows you the expense ratios, which as you can see for all of theirs are really low. It gets higher when you look at the stocks, however. And then you can, let's say you want to pick this um, U.S. Growth Fund. And that's your mutual fund. You click on there, and then it will give you more information about the fund. So as you can see here, there is a $3,000 minimum to invest within this mutual fund. Um, but for some of these mutual funds, they do have them available or something similar to them as an ETF. You can click here. And you can look at the ETFs that they have available for you. So you can do something good like this. The S&P 500 ETF. Let's click on that. And it gives you more information about the ETF. If you click on price and performance, it shows exactly how much it costs right now. And right now, this... this um, ETF is quite expensive. It's $300, $305.33. So what you can do, you can just basically start looking at what it is that you might want to invest in. And when you're ready to invest, you need to actually um, select it once the money is available. So let me just walk you through how you can do that. So once your account is fully set up, you are going to go to the My Account section. You're going to click on Buy and Sell. You're going to click on buy funds. And then you're going to click on add another mutual fund. And then you're going to enter the fund here. I'm just making something up. You would have a balance in your settlement fund from when you initially funded the account. And then you would type in the amount of money you are funding your account with. Because if you're buying into a fund initially, you have to do the minimum price. So let's say the minimum price here is 3000 then I would type in $3,000. Okay, so let's say you want to buy an ETF. You would go back to buy and sell. Then you would click on trade ETFs or stocks. This is a little bit more tricky, honestly. It's cheaper, but it's more tricky. So you would click on buy. Let's say your symbol is VOO, get quote. And here we have our quote, $305.33. So you're not going to fund it in dollars. You're, gonna, you're going to say how many shares you want. Let's say you want five shares. Five shares would be $305 times 33. Depending on when you're setting up this order, it may not be 305 once the order is processed. So if it jumps up to 320, it's still going to buy five shares, but it's going to be five shares times $320. So you can select different order types. If you select market, it's going to buy five shares at whatever price the market is at that given moment or when it opens up. If you click on limit, when you click on limit, you want to buy at lower than 305. So for this 60 day period, as soon as the price gets down to a limit of 300, then it will buy your five shares. If you click on stop, basically you don't want it to go too much over 305 before it buys it. So let's say it's 305 right now. I don't know what the market is going to open at, but I know that I don't want to spend more than $310 per share. So my stop price will be $310. And stop limit is a combination of the two. And you can do the same thing when you're selling. If you're selling shares, you can put um, stops and limits or selling at the market price when you're ready to do so. So there you have it. That's how you can open fund and pick funds for your mutual account using Vanguard. I'll definitely leave a link to Vanguard below. I don't think they have any special offers for Vanguard, but if they ever do, I'll make sure to update the description box. The thing about Vanguard that I do like is that their funds are so low cost and they don't have a lot of fees. So more of your money will be going towards working harder 
for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to click share with your friends and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.